All right, I'm gonna show you how to put on a new golf grip without using any of this crap, or the grip solvent, I guess you would say. Uh, this gets messy, and then you get it all over the floor, and then your wife's pissed. Actually, she's not pissed about the garage being messy. If I was doing it in the kitchen, she'd be pissed. So let's get rid of this. Now, all you really need is, you'll need a new grip, you'll need uh, box cutters with, uh, it'd be easier and nicer, neater cut. If you use, um, I guess they call these a hook blade. It'll be a hook blade. You can get these at the hardware store for 10 of them for five or three bucks or so. You also need a shaft clamp. This will actually help clamp the shaft in place into the vise. You also need a vise. And then you'll need a hair dryer. First things first, you wanna get the shaft clamp onto the golf club shaft that you wanna grip. Kind of a pain in the butt, but once you get it on there, it's good to go. So I usually put it at the very end, kind of, as you can see. Make sure it's uh, not easily moving around. And then what you'll do is you'll get it in the clamp. Should have had this out already. <laughs> and then what you want to do is you want to get it flush and in the most meat of the clamp if possible and then kind of start clamping it up. Obviously you don't want to over clamp it. You also don't want it to move on you. What I do is I kind of look down the line here on the shaft, make sure, because obviously when I put this new grip on, it's going to, yeah, I bought Sharp Rose, not New Decade Golf Prides. These are about half the price. I'll, I'll put a link in the description because these are just as nice, I think. But anyway, I'm going to want these, the, this logo right here, facing up so when I'm at a dress when I'm going for a golf swing it's there it's up top so right now this is a Callaway club and it's got a Callaway grip on it and it already shows me that this is top obviously the club top too but so now I know that's where I need to put it down straight down the line here it looks like I'm at the very top so we're good to go there and then uh, what we're going to do is make sure it's good to go and then to get the old grip off you're going to take your box cutter with the hook blade and just kind of get it top get started and then pull it down as far as you can go you might have to recut put the blade away when you're pulling on it and grips off go that way i got this tape double-sided tape left and actually speaking of which more things to remember you'll need you don't need two-sided tape you'll just need regular masking tape two inch so you won't need this actual sticky tape. So here we go. Uh, to get this off, I recommend using a hairdryer. Or you can use a heat gun. So I don't, I don't have a heat gun. So we're gonna use this hairdryer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it just nice and hot so I can still touch it, but it'll make this peel off so much easier. And you'll probably have to do it multiple times, probably stop the hair dryer, and then you'll be ready to pull some of it off, and then some of it will come off later on. This will work for uh, graphite shafts as well. Graphite shafts, be very careful with. You'll be fine, but I definitely wouldn't overheat it. So it is, don't want to break my wife's hair dryer. Good to go, get it started here. Kind of start pulling on it, peeling it up. And as you can see, it is coming off in a big chunk right now. That's good, good news. I don't know if that didn't help. That's probably the quickest tape I've ever pulled off of a club. All right. Now we need to prep this for the new grip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two-sided tape. We're gonna measure it out to about right here, down to about right there. So that way the tape doesn't overlap over here. And we're gonna also put a little bit inside here so, we'll, so it'll help out. I didn't get 
scissors. Can't find any scissors. Oops. That started off crappy. So what we're gonna do is it goes out to about right there. So we're gonna have about that much overhang. And do the best I can there. And now we'll get this going right here. So it, Ordinarily, you'd want to make that an even cut, but for this purpose, it's all right. So I leave a little bit overhang, and then I make that, and just kind of easily curl it around so there's no bubbles. Honestly, if it has some bubbles, it's not gonna matter that much. I got it on there. Stick the excess in here, and then grip and your air hose now the tip on my air hose it's uh, bigger than what it should be uh, you, obviously you can see here hopefully you can see uh, you probably want to get a smaller needle you can replace these with smaller needles but for this purpose let's uh, make it difficult on myself it usually it's not this difficult when you get the right tip I think these have been in my garage cold for a while There we go. Got started on there. So now what you're gonna do is kind of give it a little air. Kind of hold support right here. There we go. If you had a tip that fit better, it'd go on a lot easier than this. Right now I'm having to hold it in the hole. There you go. And then you can kind of do a little burst to get it all right down nice and neat. As you can see, it didn't move on here very much. Once you're done, now you can actually use your club. Right now, I can go out and play golf. Using the solvent, you gotta wet, let the solvent dry on the double sticky tape, so otherwise it's come right off. Right now, I can do whatever I want. Give me some comments if you like down below. Hit like if you like this. Thumbs down if you didn't, maybe you didn't. Hit subscribe for uh, more videos just like this.